How many people are still looking for ways to kill the coronavirus in its tracks? More research is showing evidence that ultraviolet light can be a pretty effective tool. But can it kill COVID-19 in the air or in your air conditioning system? It's an expensive question that News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval set out to answer. We checked, and since the start of the pandemic, hundreds of thousands in taxpayer dollars have been spent installing UV light systems inside air conditioning systems all across Central Florida. We wanted to know what the experts had to say about this, and more importantly, if this technology really works. Is we've been taking what the sun's been doing for a billion years and bringing it inside buildings where the sun can no longer get you. Terrence Burland knows ultraviolet light. Light's been killing germs since the beginning of time. He says his company, so. Violet Defense, in downtown Orlando. This is some of our product. <laughs> has been hard at work harnessing that light to fight the coronavirus. In that flash is a significant amount of UV energy. He says their work um, in sanitization is already being used by the Orlando Magic and the New York City subway system. Is it killing COVID-19? Oh, it definitely kills COVID-19. Berlin says his researchers have shown when UV light is exposed to the COVID-19 virus on surfaces, it can kill its DNA, preventing it from reproducing. But can it do the same thing inside air conditioning units? News 6 found hundreds of thousands of dollars is being spent across central Florida to outfit government heating and air conditioning systems with UV light systems. Volusia County approved more than $250,000 for it in June. Marion County approved a similar project in the same month. And in September... Orange County Public Schools approved a $13.2 million proposal to install UV lights in their HVAC system. So if you're trying to keep your cooling coils clean and you're trying to make sure that you don't have a biofilm that builds up, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to clean the air, um, it's really suspect. The Food and Drug Administration takes it a step farther on their website, saying there is limited published data about the wavelength, dose, and duration of ultraviolet radiation required to inactivate COVID-19. Well, we changed our mind on what we're going to do first. Orange County School Board Chair Teresa Jacobs says after looking at the research, the district made the decision to hold off on installing UV, opting instead for better air filters first. And Marion County admits it's not a silver bullet. A spokesman telling News 6, we do not take the expenditure of taxpayer funds lightly. And we believe this technology is an investment in the long-term health and safety of our residents and our employees. Now, Volusia County tells us they know that UV light technology is not a total solution in fighting COVID-19, but they say it does serve as an added layer of protection. Coming up in 2021, we're going to be watching to see what government leaders continue to do to keep their residents healthy. Eric Sandoval, Getting Results, News 6.